Hello there, welcome, thank you for joining me again. It's Naomi 2 time. A lot of people seem to be eager to find out how the Sega Naomi 2 arcade system performs on the Raspberry Pi 5, and today I'm going to show you. Now this system could not run on the Pi 4, even if you were able to get some games loaded up it was basically unplayable. I've spent some time working out how to get it running and with the help from some of my friends we got it going and in a very playable state and this is quite exciting for me. I'm going to show you some footage I captured from four games that run quite well. Before I show you remember to hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. Feel free to leave a comment and please consider subscribing if you want to see some more from me in the future. I post regular gameplay videos and when the occasion calls for it I do some bonus videos on something special. Lately that's been all about what the Pi 5 can do. Ok so a little about the system I'm running. This is the new Raspberry Pi 5 which I ordered as soon as I found out about its release. It's not a freebie, I wasn't given one to review and promote, I bought it with my own money and I'm just excited to get my hands on some new hardware and find out what it can do. I installed the 64-bit Bookworm OS onto it and on top of that I installed RetroPie. Now there's no official 64-bit RetroPie release just yet, that is still under development so any gameplay footage you see in these early days are effectively experimental. Now, can you imagine how far along development would have been if the Raspberry Pi organization actually gave pre-release boards to developers instead of idiot YouTubers who didn't know how to showcase them? Before Joe Public was able to get their hands on these, I only ever saw videos showing the Pi 5 doing things that the Pi 4 could already do, and that infuriated me. So I'm trying to find out for myself what this thing is capable of, and I hope developers are now able to take the time they weren't able to before to work on optimizing the software for this new hardware. But I digress. So Naomi 2 runs in the Flycast emulator. Specifically, we're using LR Flycast Dev, which is in the Experimental Packages section. If you try to run Naomi 2 games straight off the bat, then they won't perform very well. There are a couple of extra things that you'd need to do. Primarily, you need to make sure your system is able to use the Vulkan video driver. Now, I'm not going to go into how to set that up in this video, which is meant to just be a demonstration. Hopefully it won't be too long before that kind of thing is enabled as standard in RetroPie and any such guide would become obsolete quite quickly, but if not I may provide a walkthrough in a future video. Now once you have Vulkan enabled and in use, it's also necessary to apply a setting in the Flycast core options. Alpha sorting is by default set to per triangle. This needs to be changed to per strip, which is much faster and less resource intensive. I found that without changing this setting I wasn't able to get acceptable performance from the games. I'll also point out that I'm not overclocking this Pi at the moment, so these games are running on the Pi at its stock clock speed. So here are the games. First up is Beach Spikers. This is a beach volleyball game. Here I have it running at a resolution of 800 by 600. This was the highest resolution I felt able to take it up to without getting distracting performance glitches. And that is actually higher than its native 640 by 480. Actually, I think all games on the Naomi 2 system were natively 640 by 480 so every game you're going to see today is running at a higher resolution than it was originally expected to run on original hardware. You can see the frames counter in the corner that the frame rate hovers around 60 frames per second and the game is performing quite well. I'll just let you watch the rest of this match before we move on to something else.
Now we have Club Cart European Session. I thought this would be a good game to showcase as it would require a lot of computation power to manage up to, I think, eight carts all at once in close proximity. Here it's running at a resolution of 800 by 600 again, and you can see the frame rate doesn't deviate much from 60 frames per second. The performance is pretty good. At a higher resolution I would get occasional frame drops which ruin the game. This is as high as I'd be prepared to go on this particular game. Now we have another racing game. This is Initial D Arcade Stage, which is a one-on-one -on -one road racing game. I was able to push the res on this up to 1024 by 768 and still get great performance. The frame rate stays comfortably close to 60 and it is as smooth as butter.
And the last of these four games I'm showing you today is Virtua Fighter 4 Final Tuned, which is running here at a nice resolution of 960 by 720. Fight one! Ready? Go! Okay, I hope you enjoyed that brief look at my Omi 2 games being played on the Raspberry Pi 5. I was very pleasantly surprised to see how well the Pi 5 could run these games at resolutions above and beyond their native arcade resolutions. They do require the use of the Vulkan video driver, which isn't enabled by default, but it is accessible. Hopefully when RetroPie sees an official bookworm release, enabling Vulkan will be a more straightforward process. Anyway, that's all from me today. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you here again soon.